I dreamt about the music style I created, at least since 1993, being the author of the largest rock encyclopedia. Answer the question, what on the earth appeared first? Exchange of gestures, signs, like pile of stones, speech, or writing? The correct answer is exchange of gestures, body language. Why? You can live without let I see Billions of beasts wasting their lives Knowing nothing about the words they need Living in a jungle, living in downtown Can have nothing in common, can be quite the same At any angle, from the up and down You are just a pawn in a blockhead game I failed to find how many thousands years ago the speech had appeared. Archaeologists write, humans use fire for about 400,000 years. To maintain fire, they assume already needed a speech, which is hopes word transforms a train of thought into a train of words and gives, brings the opportunity to exchange information and to advance a performance of a group or tribe, I would say. But those speech explorers did not left any notes rationally. Those who left notes, as historians know, 
those who created writing lived in Summa, between the rivers of Babylon, but much more before Babylon itself, about 5,000 years ago. And that writing gave them the opportunity to build and run the very first city on the planet before they could not. That's how very first human civilization appeared, before they were not civilized enough. I think to 2020's libertarian slogan, people will make it themselves, stopped working. Because of the globalization, internet, and real-life games to slot bingos, governmental, reasonable, and legitimate effort became more important now. I also think that countries and their populations must rely on peace more, because wars and thefts do not produce material values and services. I think the more advanced is a civilization, the more education and knowledge needs citizens. Eventually, because of this, we came to the point that world is run by majority of underprepared people, are they politicians or not? Yet, natural subsequence of a liberalization of sex crimes treatment developed by sex revolution of 1960s, gross percent of those who are just envy and hate beauty. In result, the very human beauty is fading from generation to generation since then. Victims of human trafficking usually do not have families. At last, game in science and media, use of two letter language to slot bingo, and growth of percent of people involved into espionage destroys economics and culture. Thieves do not create real masterpieces. Before, when I was asked, what is your favorite movie, I often answered, Orchestra Rehearsal by Federico Fellini. Now I think that Fellini became a little bit too far right-winged to the release of this movie in February of 1979. February of 1979. The ending of the film shows that he expresses support of dictatorship, tyranny. Meanwhile, a dictatorship has obvious negative sides. First, while it organizes a strong order, safety of the citizens individually and of their property still is often violated. Dictators, unfortunately, often rob and sometimes rape. Next, it suppresses entrepreneurs' initiative, corrupts the market and dictators' solar interest, and rarely will reach best of manufacturing and services. After all, it nearly always suppresses and deforms art and culture, as I many times mentioned before. In fact, to make the life better, we need a perfect balance between power and freedom, security and creativity, intelligence services and intellectualism. As about Federico Fellini, he was born in 1920 and soon Mussolini came to power in Italy. They write, at this time Fellini did not sympathize to fascism. Though he and his brother had no escape from participation in the fascist youth group mandatory for every Italian male. But in the end of 1970s, in Italy rose horrible atmosphere of chaos, marked by student movement of 1977 and political terrorism, such as Red Brigades, which murdered former recent Prime Minister Aldo Moro in 1978 and Union organizer Guido Rossa in 1979. This looks like change Fellini's attitude in favor of dictatorship. His movie was released just several weeks after the assassination of Guido Rosso. But I repeat, what to do? Who would protect the nation, the civilization, if a very dictator spread terrorism? In the fourth verse of my song, the lyric says, living in the desert, living on a lake. I thought about the historical fact that since 6th to 19th century, for 1300 years, people lived in the miserable mountain, desert, cave city Chifutkale in Crimea, in 30 kilometers from the best subtropical seashores I ever saw in my life.
Oh, 